I, 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 I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold Frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts feeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb So today, September 12th, it's about 3 o'clock, and we're on the road again, on the road again. Where are we going? Niagara Falls! For what? Fiberglass RV Rally! Woo -hoo -hoo. See the hat? Escape! We're gonna go meet a bunch of eggheads, all you fiberglass egg lovers, we're gonna see you there. Yeah, so this is our first fiberglass rally, and uh, most is going to be escapes, I believe, but I think it, everybody's going to be there. That lives around the area, of course. So anyway, anxious to get there, to meet tons of people. I know it's going to be super fun. So, we go. See you on the road. Here we go. See you there. On the road. quick stop uh, we're actually supposed to leave tomorrow but we ended up leaving today and uh, we're probably going to sleep somewhere like at a Walmart after Toronto we just wanted to avoid the traffic we didn't want to be stuck in the rush hour so we decided you know what let's just leave today find a Walmart to crash and tomorrow we have an early check-in at the campgrounds a little sad Fiona won't be able to come with us on this trip because the campground we're going, they don't allow pit bulls. And she's so sweet. I know, Fee, they don't mean, they don't know you. It's all good anyway. She's gonna stay with my sister-in-law. She also owns a dog, so she's gonna have a friend to stay with. And it's easy for us to keep an eye on her. If anything happens, we'll know right away. So the plan for today is, as soon as my sister-in-law is done with work, drop feet and we keep driving until we find a nice place to sleep not too far from the campground we'll see how things go right now time to feed the pup take her for a little walk we're doing a little bit of groceries because everything is a little bit more cheaper in Quebec side as soon as you cross to Ontario it gets a little bit more expensive and yeah so we should be hitting the road before sundown Hope you guys have enough light to see me. So it's about 11 o'clock. We made it to Kingston, three hours away from Montreal. About halfway till Toronto. And yeah, we're staying at Walmart. Gotta love Walmart. Canadian Walmarts are the best. We found this one on RV Parky. It's an app on your iPhone. I think they also have it on Android. We also called them and asked if we could stay here. They said, yeah, no problem, just stay in the back. And we're actually seven, I counted already, seven RVs. 
pretty sure there's more, but see, there's one, two, a couple of guys over here. Yeah, or probably nine RVs. This is us. So 11 o'clock, guys. I'm calling it a night. Probably gonna have a little snack, and see you tomorrow morning. Hey, good morning, guys. What right, a great success! First night boondocking in Casablanca. Thank you, Walmart. Canadian Walmarts, honestly, so far we've crossed the country once. We went all the way to the East End and we're using Walmart again. Never a problem. They're so welcoming. Just make sure you call them, let them know you're going to stay. They'll tell you where to stay. Usually it's towards the back. You can tell all my fellow RVers my background. And yeah, we did our shopping over here. We didn't leave any garbage. We bring our garbage with us and we're going to dump it somewhere else. An appropriate spot. We're four hours away from Niagara on the lake. So we're going to start heading up that way slowly. Not in a rush. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. So we should be there by noon. Getting a little fuel this morning. It's not bad. We actually were doing uh, 17 liters per 100 kilometers. Not sure what that turns out into gallons, but uh, Again, it was mostly flat, so it was a good way to compare between the Casablanca and the Casita. So it's very similar. Maybe Casablanca a little bit more, but I think she's more aerodynamic than the Casita, right? You have that flat wall where this one, it goes a little bit up. Fuel is $1.12 a liter. It's pretty decent. I've seen it higher. I've seen it all the way up to $147. Escapes. I don't know why that surprised me. Oh my god, there's so many. We made it. A lot of escapes. So this is kind of a sneak peek guys because it's not technically the open house but it's sort of tidy <laughs> I'll be honest sometimes it's not always tidy that's why we don't like to film in here well that was definitely the case for the casita because we always had our stuff all over the place and that's why we never filmed in there but here we have more space for storage so it's easier to film in here so this is our setup right now there's Dory working and that's usually where we are when we're you know working editing videos that kind of thing we have this amazing counter and counter extension here the previous owners installed a granite sink which is super cool we love it we love this counter we love the color and uh, it's our dishes it's a little messy and then we have the stainless steel, the stainless steel upgrades. And we have this awesome faucet, helps keep everything really clean. And it's also a super deep sink, which we love. There's so much storage space in here. And we like to put the dishes in bins so they're not all clanging together and sliding around. And 
we have some dishes up there, some extra clothes up there, our running gear up there. And Lucy and Charlie did a great job of accessorizing and they chose custom fabrics and of course the custom countertop too, which we love. We think that they made just brilliant choices. And the fridge is massive, guys. Look at the size of this fridge. I mean, this is, okay, maybe not double the space of the Casita fridge, but let me tell you, that is a lot of space. So we're quite happy with that. And this is the beer for later because there's a beer exchange and it's kind of like a social gathering. So everyone introduces themselves. The microwave, which works on the inverter, which is awesome. More storage up there, more beer. You can tell it's mine because it's apricot flavored. I'm not really a fan of beer. <laughs> so we keep the garbage up here mainly because when we had the garbage in the casita down under the sink, it just made everything dirty. But another benefit of having it up there is that feet does not get into it. So down here, this is the furnace, which has proven, oh my God, like a godsend for us so far. We have lots of plugs and I don't think I showed you this, but we have these counter extensions here too. So if we want to put our drinks there while we're on the laptops and not risk spilling it on our keyboards, we could do that. And we really love these blinds and the windows. It's kind of a thermal dual pane windows. That's our air conditioner up there. This is the bathroom. So we do store quite a bit in here. We don't shower in here. So we have our shower caddy right down there, but it is a wet bath. So that's why the toilet paper is covered. And there's this upgraded shower head, which we love, but we haven't used it yet. And there's still space for my full-size shampoos, shower gels, yeah. And the, then there's the fan. The one thing we do want to change is this television because unfortunately it doesn't work with HDMI too well. So when I hook up my Netflix that I've downloaded in advance and then I, I plug it in with each HDMI to this TV, for whatever reason, it doesn't show me the full screen. It's always on a smaller screen, so that we like to fix. And more storage here, so we keep our sheets there and the manual. And this is kind of a great little shelf for the entryway. It's a catch-all, you know, you kind of put your, your bags, your keys, whatever here. Uh, calendar. We have this awesome we have this awesome paper towel dispenser over here. We like to know the temperature, mostly for Fee, because it, she uh, doesn't have a lot of fur. She doesn't have like thick fur. So it's really, really important for her to, um, to be, you know, at least 18 degrees or more. And this is the remote control for the fan, which is awesome. You could still operate it up there, but having the remote is pretty cool because it's so high up. I mean, the ceilings are really, really tall. We generally use these hooks over here to dry our towels. And um, this is storage in here. I got to clean up that flower that I make mug cakes <laughs> and, and uh, I have to do a little cleaning in here. So these come out and then when we're traveling, those just hook into place and they don't move. Yeah. Also, you have right here a wardrobe that's been fitted with shelves. I don't know. I'm assuming that most people have it as a wardrobe. We have it set up with shelves, which is more convenient for us. Um, so there's our dog food and these hooks help to keep it from popping these doors open when we're traveling. So here is the control panel for the fan, the air conditioner and the furnace. And there's a thermostat there. 
up there that's our smoke detector. We are lucky enough to have a fifth wheel, a trailer with a cell booster, which works really, really well. It moves us from one bar to about three bars, which is really cool. We also have a little antenna. The antenna gives us a few local channels, which is cool. It also doesn't take very long to clean and we have so much space so things can be stored. They don't always have to be out all the time, which was what we were struggling with in the casita because we we're pretty much 90% full time now. So just to give you an example, so this is the bed area and right there on the sides we have space. So I have my laptop bag speaker hats my purse camera bag we have a little cubby over there for our little nighttime personal items and on top of which i have my clothing up here right and also here so it helps us to keep everything neat because there are so many storage options here and i do fit sitting Sitting? Yeah. A lot of people are asking if I fit sitting on top of the bed. It's nice. true. So I can sit up no problem and so can Dory. So it's pretty cool. And we have this amazing moon roof, which Lucy and Charlie put Reflectix there so that they wouldn't be blinded in the morning with the morning sun and they could sleep in. But it's still great because you get a nice breeze. So that's our little trailer and we love it. <laughs> it's been a month and a half and it's just such a blessing. So Lucy, Charlie, oh my gosh, we love you guys. We're sad for you that you sold it, but we're happy for us that we have it. How about that? Now, the one thing that I have been struggling with is that we get a lot of condensation up here around the windows, but that's not a problem because I could just open the windows, run the fans and it goes away. But more than that, we get a ton of condensation here where the mattress meets the wall. And that's mainly because there's no airflow. So we've been considering a few options, possibly cutting the mattress by an inch, inch and a half, just so that there's room for air to flow back there and it won't have any kind of accumulation of moisture or mold. But if you guys have any kind of suggestions or ideas on how we can manage that, then that would be great. So yeah, and then we have these blinds and these. So if it's raining, these are great because they're awning style, but the rest of the windows that we have are sliding windows. Now we haven't gone through everything. Oh yes, okay, so the inverter, is down here don't need it right now but we can use that when we need to run the microwave and we're at a Walmart also this uh, is to do with our surge protector so it tells us if it's wired correctly this is our water heater this is our tank level indicator the gray one is always wrong, so you could just ignore that one. Uh, also, we could turn the water pump on over here. And this is all the information coming off of our solar panels and battery levels. To be honest, I don't really understand this very well yet, but we are going to take some time and read the manuals and, and figure it out. What we do know is it helps us because when we're at a Walmart and we're getting some sun, we still have power to the batteries. So that's great. And what else am I missing in here that these guys haven't seen? Oh, these lights. We have these little spotlights everywhere and they're just lights everywhere. There's, it's so bright in this trailer. I mean, if we wanna have all the blinds down for privacy, we can keep these lights on 
and it keeps it really really well lit because I hate being in a dark space that feels like a cave I like it to be nice and bright which this trailer definitely is also we have a lot of USB cords. oh yeah we have the uh, USB ports we have a ton of them another great thing is that we can bring our Dyson with us <laughs> because it actually fits in the storage down here. So we have a ton of storage under the step and then we put our shoes here under this step. So normally we don't have uh, shoes here. We try not to keep shoes in the entryway because we have Fee's water bowl and then we usually have a little bag of recycling um, that's on the way out. So we try not to keep shoes around here. So let's go take a look at the outside. Hey. Who does your hair? I don't know. My How barber's come? on strike. Your barber's on It's actually, we found this amazing hairdresser in Drummondville. However, Dory didn't quaff today. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's actually Mena didn't quaff today because the only person that's quaffing his hair is me. It's usually only me. Bye. Later. So, out here, what can I tell you about out here? Okay, so outdoor we have- Outdoor shower. Oh yes. <laughs> we have this amazing outdoor shower. So if you wanted to set up right here your outdoor kitchen, that would be really, really easy to do. Oops, let's close that. We have the 12 volt as well as the standard charging ports. This is storage. Uh, those are the jacks and as you can see we have the extra insulation. This is where our sewer hose is stored. This awning is amazing. We love it. We will take it out for you guys another time. We do have a receiver hitch. It's 150 pound capacity so we could have a bike rack hitched up here. Now we don't know which one to buy. Um, a lot of people are recommending one. I forget the name of the brand, but it's about $1,000 and I'm not sure that we're ready to invest that kind of money. Plus we only have one bike. It's just my bike. So anyway, we're figuring that part out. What I love about this power cord is that there's no space for any critters to get inside the trailer. With the Casita, I was always putting duct tape to block the hole so no critters would get in. This is, uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't have all the answers yet. <laughs> this is our water heater and it's a dual water heater. It's propane and electric. In general, we're traveling in, in warm weather or we're hooked up, so that shouldn't really be an issue. So this is our water uh, connection and this is where we can fill up our holding tank. It's the back of our fridge. Now this is the exhaust for our furnace and oh my gosh guys, if you don't have a furnace, it's, it's like night and day. It's really made our lives so much better because we do sometimes travel in cold weather. And that's our sewer connection, straightforward. Now, this is our cable input. And I keep forgetting to put our Canadian certification, but RIV.ca sent us the certification sticker and I have to affix it here. Uh, more storage over here. And down here, here we have our propane bottles, so easily accessible. Some people say that it's not so easy to access when you're connected, but I think that there's still space. And this is mm, quick connect for in case you wanted to hook up like an outdoor barbecue. 
but I don't think we're going to be using this, but it is a nice feature to have, especially for resale. So let's just close that up. Ah. And then up here we have more storage. And storage under here as well. I don't have the key, so I'm not going to show you just this moment, but we will probably show you that in the future. And then this, I guess, is another quick connect for propane. I also really love this screen. It kind of tucks away really well. I love that. Works really, really well. Now, what else could I say about this? I mean, there are levels everywhere on this on this trailer. Now, I don't know if that those are come from the factory or if Lucy and Charlie installed those, but let me tell you, they're lifesavers. We really, really love these. And we're getting used to hitching. Usually, Dorian saw the first time Charlie hitching this and Charlie taught him to do it. So he's usually out here while I'm backing the truck up. And uh, I feel more comfortable doing that than directing him because I guess we've done it a few times now with success. And these are the power jacks in the front. Now, we normally have a lock here for obvious reasons, but I'm trying to figure out a way to keep it more stable without using a tripod because the lock that we have does not work with the tripod. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, then that would be great. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going to be learning a lot more here with so many fifth wheel owners, escape fifth wheel owners. This we never use and I can understand why because when we turn the fan on, it makes this horrendous noise and we find that we don't need it because we have the fan <laughs> plus this window so wait hang on let's put that fan on oh my gosh guys can you hear that well mind you right now the the vent thing is closed but usually the noise is horrible even with the vent open yeah, so most people opt not to get this and they have the window and then they have the fan on out, exhausting out, and it actually sweeps all the smells and all the smoke outside of the vent from air from the window. And that works really well for most people, which I appreciate too, because I don't think I've ever turned on the fan. Whereas I did used to use the fan in the casita a lot. It was not so noisy. But still, a lot of people like to delete this. I mean, also if you're preparing stuff, it's kind of in the way. I don't know, I don't really mind it, but I do mind the noise. Now, let me show you our double burner. So that is super easy to light. I mean, just, just like the casita. Oh, we have to turn the propane on? I thought I turned it on. Anyway, I'm not sure I turned it on. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and turn on the propane, but so one of the upgrades that we didn't get that came a little bit later is the flush mounted stove. So now the flush mounted stoves from what I remember are standard. And unfortunately we don't have an oven, but to be honest, I make my mug cakes pretty easily in the microwave. So that's my sweet treat that I can make myself. I can also make granola in the m microwave. So although it would be awesome to have an oven, I probably wouldn't use it that much anyway. Although I do like to bake bread, but I usually bake bread in my bread maker, which I'm not sure if I could be bringing that. Bread maker, what do you think? Bread maker? So two things that I'm struggling with that I'm not sure 
we're gonna bring with us this winter is a sewing machine because I love to sew. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I love to sew. I find it super, 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 super relaxing. And I could just, I could waste so many hours doing that. I don't know if we're gonna have time. Like I have, a, I think I've had zero time. No, I think I use my sewing machine at my mom's house maybe twice this summer, just because we haven't had any time. And that's usually the case. We're always, always, always on the go. So and that's the bread maker is very dangerous because when that bread is hot, oh yeah, even if you're full, you just want to eat it. It's true. When you have a bread maker, guys, you just eat. You just stuff your your face with carbs all the time because it smells and tastes so good. So it's probably a better idea because we actually do eat less bread when we buy it. But I don't like the preservatives, so that's why I like to make it. Anyway. That's gonna be the dilemma for this winter. Am I bringing the sewing machine? It's super heavy, but super fun. And am I bringing the bread maker? Super dangerous, but so awesome also. Anyway, what I am bringing for sure, blender, this is essential. Love that for making shakes. And of course the Instant Pot. Now I could not really we did take the Instant Pot with us with the casita, but there was just no place to store it. So now that I have a place for this and a little home for my two little gadgets, this just makes my life so much better. So I hope you liked our quickie little tour. Probably have more things to talk about after tomorrow's open house. But if you like this video, if you like our new trailer, give us a thumbs up.